Well, the Lord is good today. Thank you for joining me as we're in um, our devotional time, Luke 24. You know, as we look around us in the world, we see there are many people whose hearts are closed, whose minds are closed to the gospel of Jesus Christ. Um, many people don't know it. And many people think that they, their, their minds are, are actually open when it's not. It's closed. But I thank God that he has the power to open the hearts. He has the power to open minds. He has the power to touch hearts and to open them so that they can receive the gospel, receive the news of Jesus and be saved by the power of the Holy Spirit. The Bible says here in Luke chapter 24 that here's Jesus. He said to them, these are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you. That everything written about me in the law of Moses and the prophets and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Jesus, he did not come um, to, to destroy the Old Testament law. He came to fulfill. He fulfilled the Old Testament. And all the messianic prophecies that we have in the Old Testament, they were fulfilled in the life of Jesus Christ. They were fulfilled. The Psalms, um, the prophets, Moses. And the Bible says in verse 45 that then he opened their minds. He opened their minds to understand the scriptures. Beloved, we need the Holy Spirit to teach us to open our hearts and open our minds to understand the scriptures. There are many people today, because they approach the Bible, they approach the Word of God from a strictly academic or intellectual, um, given that, that approach, but they're not approaching it as the word of God and they're not approaching it with the spirit of God. And so many have drifted into error. The Bible tells us that a natural man cannot receive the things of God. We need the spirit of God to teach us the word of God, to reveal things to us. Then we begin to understand them. It's like such a powerful revelation. The, the Rima, the Word of God, comes alive to us and we know. And it gets not here. It gets into our hearts. He opened their minds to understand the Scriptures. And whenever you sit in a congregation, you're listening to a preacher, you know, you want to pray, Lord, open my mind. Open my heart. Open my mind so that I can understand the Scriptures. He said to them, Thus it is written that the Christ should suffer. And on the third day, rise from the dead. This is what was written. And he said to that to them, um, the Christ is going to suffer on the third day, rise from the dead, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins should be proclaimed in his name to all nations, beginning from Jerusalem. So Jesus is saying, this is the essence of the gospel message. It is written that the Christ, that Jesus should suffer. On the third day, he will rise again. He will suffer, he will be crucified, he will be resurrected. And what happened? Repentance for the forgiveness of sins should be proclaimed in his name to all nations. So, this is the essence of the gospel of Jesus dying on the cross, resurrected from the dead, and we are preaching to the whole world, all over the world, forgiveness of sins as people repent and they turn to Jesus and receive him as Lord and Savior. And he says, you are witnesses of these things. They were witnesses in that day of Jesus' death, his resurrection. We are also witnesses, we who have been saved, we who have come to know Jesus. It, it, because that history is our history and is made real to us by the Holy Spirit. We know that he died. We know that he is risen because he's alive inside of us. But now we are to be witnesses. We are to tell others that Jesus died. He is the Savior. He loves you. He died for our sins and he can give us salvation. He can give us eternal life. Amen. Praise the Lord.